Lesson 349 Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. Hi there! What if you could experience seeing the world through that part of yourself that truly realizes the full potential of your spiritual truth? Can you imagine how transformative it could be, both for yourself and for all those you meet? Let's dive into Lesson 349 to find out a clue about that. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. So would I liberate all things I see and give to them the freedom that I seek. For thus do I obey the law of love and give what I would find and make my own. It will be given me, because I have chosen it as the gift I want to give. Father, your gifts are mine. Each one that I accept gives me a miracle to give. And giving as I would receive, I learn your healing miracles belong to me. Our Father knows our needs. He gives us grace to meet them all. And so we trust in Him to send us miracles to bless the world and heal our minds as we return to Him. In other words, this lesson encourages us to apply the law of love as we've discussed it in few previous lessons, for example. Lesson 344 Today I learn the law of love, that what I give my brother is my gift to me. But again, it's all about seeing the world differently. It's about adopting a new way of looking at the world. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not. It's about opening ourselves to see the world through Christ's vision. But what exactly is Christ's vision? Christ's vision, as described in A Course in Miracles, represents a way of seeing the world through the eyes of love and forgiveness, rather than through our ego or the lens of judgment and separation. If you're not yet familiar with the terminology of A Course in Miracles, it's important to note that we're not referring here to a specific historical or religious figure but to the divine essence or perfect love present in all of us. Christ's vision perceives all beings as one with God and each other, transcending the ego's illusions of separation and recognizing the inherent unity and connectedness of all that exists. It is a vision that goes beyond the appearances of the world we see in our physical bodies, revealing the spiritual reality that lies beyond physical forms. Christ's vision is devoid of judgment and condemnation, what we perceive as sins through our ego are merely mistakes. These mistakes call for correction, not punishment, they call for forgiveness. Thus, Christ's vision recognizes that we are all sons of God, inherently innocent and holy. Through Christ's vision, we understand that our true identity is one of the Spirit. In this identity, we are not tied to the actions of our ego or to our body. Christ's vision is of course a vision of unconditional love and compassion. It views every situation and person with empathy and understanding, extending love rather than fear or anger. This also fosters a form of healing, both for those who look at the world through Christ's vision and for those who are perceived through this vision. It transcends the ego's false perceptions and affirms the truth about ourselves and our spiritual reality. In doing so, it manifests this reality. It enables us to see the world in a way that allows those shifts in perception to happen, those shifts from fear to love that we've learned to call miracles. Ultimately, Christ's vision is the means of awakening from the dream of separation and fear that we often mistake for the real world. It plays a crucial role in our journey back to recognizing our oneness with God. So, how does today's lesson resonate with you now? Let's commit ourselves to invoking Christ's vision within ourselves, and let's grant all things the freedom we seek. This is precisely what applying the law of love means, what we give, we receive. We accept Christ's vision as the gift our Father has given us, and this is the gift we offer to the world as the miracle we share. As we give, so do we receive, and in this continuous cycle of giving and receiving, we perpetually receive more and more. Our needs find fulfillment through the grace our Father has given us, and as we continue our journey back to God, 
miracles are sent to bless ourself and to be offered to the world through us. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. Isn't that wonderful? How would your life change with this shift in perception from fear to love? How would it be to allow Christ's vision to reveal to you the ultimate truth of love, beyond the appearances of this world that we see with our physical eyes? Keep practicing morning and evening, and remember today's idea every hour throughout your day. Whenever you notice that you are judging or viewing the world through the lens of your ego today, gently remind yourself. Today I let Christ's vision look upon all things for me and judge them not, but give each one a miracle of love instead. You're doing great! See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. Quick reminder, we're currently exploring the section What is a Miracle? If you haven't watched the intro to this section yet, simply click on the video link that will pop up on your screen shortly. And for long-term subscribers looking to support the channel as we enter 2024, click the second link appearing in a second. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.